Hmm. This is one month of work. Hmm. Anyway, seems like I've been on top of everything concerning the CCP virus vaccine. But it's much worse than even I thought. A lot has happened while I was gone. I guess the Pfizer people saw my video on viral mutation. Imagine what kind of money they could have made teaching these techniques to people. Every few months, a few new booster punches added to counter the attacks of the opposing side. For those of you having a hard time connecting the dots, I'm talking here about gain of function research. Also, while I don't wish anything bad onto anyone, I take great pleasure in my precious Schadenfreude. All those vaccine side effects, mwah, their lesion. I know two people with deep vein thrombosis, uh, one girl with myocarditis, her dad died. This one is especially funny because they were both outraged when not everybody got the shot. Um, the guy who did the voice for this video had a stroke. Another had his cancer return and died. His son wanted to see him in the hospital before he did, so he had to get vaccinated for it and now he has muscle aches whenever he does any kind of exercise. An 18 year old who trained since he was 15 is now exhausted whenever he climbs a flight of stairs. Oh, and the boss of my gym also had a heart attack and died. And these are all people I know personally. And they, of course, well, the ones who are still alive, told me about even more people with even more side effects. But the best one, and, and this one I read, so I don't know if it's actually true, but there was this mother who told her two daughters to get vaccinated, and now the 18-year-old is dead, and the 21-year-old is paralyzed. Yeah, and when I read that, I, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is even more funny to me than the the three-legged dog in um, Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> I mean, I get the poverty, but the dog just makes no sense. I mean, accidents happen. So if they had been rich, they would have sawn his leg back together? In the 1880s? <laughs> I know, I'm terrible, <laughs> but I can help it. <laughs> I mean... I didn't know how safe the vaccines were either, but at least I was able to do the math. Well, well enough to notice that since there's so much money in these vaccines, if you could release them this fast, every pharma company would be doing it. But instead it takes years until a drug is um, approved. So there had to be something fishy going on, which I mentioned in this video. Including the fact that the EU has indemnified Pfizer against any side effects. So should you decide to sue them, you're basically suing your own self since it's your tax money. The stupidity of all this, how people could fall for this. But the ones who didn't were ostracized from society. I'm sure you remember, if you didn't have your vaccine papers, you weren't allowed to enter. But after seeing this, I doubt you want to enter anymore. Current state of knowledge on the excretion of mRNA and spike produced by anti-CCP virus mRNA vaccines. Possibility of contamination of the entourage of those vaccinated by these products. The link is in the description. Done by the pharmacist biologist Hélène Barnon from France. You've all heard about the mRNA found in mother's milk, right? Well, if it can get there, it can get anywhere. Lipid nanoparticles, or their natural equivalent, exosomes or extracellular vesicles, EVs, have been shown to be able to be excreted through body fluids, sweat, sputum, breast milk, and to pass the transplacental barrier. These EVs are also able to penetrate by inhalation and through the skin, healthy or injured, as well as orally through breast milk, and why not during sexual intercourse through semen, as this has not been studied. Inhalation and through skin? Looks like we should have been worried about the vaccinated. And not just for idiocy reason, they are now a vector of disease. The first published testimony of vaccine shedding that I saw dates from December 2021 and is that of Dr. Ray Sahilian. He reported cases of medical or scientific colleagues who had observed symptoms close to those of the adverse effects of the vaccine after having been in contact with freshly vaccinated persons. He proposed an excretion of the product of the vaccine by the skin and the respiratory tract and asked for complementary studies. October 2021, I received a testimony from a group of French caregivers. They observed a stroke in a seven-year-old child with no risk factors and whose parents had been freshly vaccinated. 
A seven-year-old having a stroke? I guess the original sin is real now. The protocol for the Pfizer phase first, second, third trial of the CCP virus mRNA vaccines, which began in May 2020, mentions the possibility of passage of the study product through inhalation or skin contact and passage through semen from a man exposed through inhalation or skin contact and passage through breast milk. The possibility of an adverse vaccine reaction from these exposures is also mentioned. Well, we better take a look at the source. Exposure during pregnancy or breastfeeding and occupational exposure. Below are examples of environmental exposure during pregnancy. A female family member or healthcare provider reported that she is pregnant after having been exposed to the study intervention by inhalation or skin contact. A male family member or healthcare provider who has been exposed to the study intervention by inhalation or skin contact then exposes his female partner prior to or around the time of conception. So someone who isn't vaccinated can pick it up through inhalation or skin contact and then infect other unknowing third parties. And Pfizer knew this, they knew the risk, and they still released it into the wild. And all the idiots played along. Way to fuck up the species. The study also mentions telegram groups. Telegram isn't secure. Best would be no cell phone, obviously, but since you're all addicts, at least use Signal. It's actually end-to-end -end encrypted and the only user data they have is your phone number and when you were last online. Anyway, there are many testimonies of non-vaccinated persons who experience symptoms identical to the adverse effects of the vaccine after having been in contact with freshly vaccinated persons. A study shows an excess of mortality in the non-vaccinated age groups when vaccination campaigns begin, which could be explained by a phenomenon of transmission of the vaccine or its products. I have some anecdotal evidence my own self. I know a girl who was very much against the vaccine. She fought tooth and nail against it. And she never got sick. And then she got herself an idiot off the rack, who of course was vaccinated. And what do you know? Two weeks later, she has the CCP virus with loss of taste and everything. And as we know, the more vaccine you have inside you, the more likely you are to get it. Funny thing is, she knew about the mRNA shedding, yet she still spread her legs. Well, bitches without self-control. What can you do? But then I also know a guy who I walked around with who regularly puts his stick into a young female guinea pig and he never reported any adverse effects. So I guess, as usual, more research is needed. But I wouldn't hold my breath. I mean, this study came out in November last year and I bet none of you have heard of it. So until there's clarification, I will stay away from the vaccinated because so far I haven't seen any conclusive data on how long the mRNA or the spike protein will stay inside them. And judging by the nasty side effects some of them suffer up to a year later, I doubt it will ever leave their body. Well, obviously, I can't avoid the idiots altogether, but at least I will try and minimize my environmental exposure, as the Pfizer documents say. Let me know in the comments how your self-control is doing. But remember, the weight of the word is measured by its consistency. Oh, all that disinfectant you're spraying around is just creating bacteria immune to it. Combine that with the weakened immune systems people now have because of the vaccinations and the lockdowns and add just a sprinkle of distrust that people now feel towards vaccines and medication. Oh, it's a very exciting time. Fun and happiness.